Many viruses can spread between humans and animals, and as we've reported in the past, COVID is no exception. But how are our pets potentially, how many of them have actually had COVID? Dr. Frank McGeorge is taking a deeper dive into the research. He's live this evening to explain what we know about pets and COVID and what pet owners should do to protect their furry friends. Doc. Yeah, Karen and Jason. So, you know, in the very beginning of the pandemic, there were sporadic reports of dogs or cats testing positive for SARS-CoV-2, but there was very little focus on how often it actually happened, which pets were at the most risk, or if animals could spread COVID to us. So I found an international expert to put it in some perspective. Most infectious diseases that cause outbreaks in people come from animals and COVID-19, the disease, is caused by SARS-CoV-2 and is no different. It comes from a bat. Dr. Dorothy Beansla is a professor of veterinary pathology at the University of Guelph in Ontario and has been studying the spread of COVID-19 to animals since the start of the pandemic. She points out, given that it comes from an animal, it shouldn't be surprising that SARS-CoV-2 can be spread to animals. During the past year, we found out that mink are highly infectable and uh, Cats are relatively infectable, dogs are also infectable, and uh, another, a number of other species are infectable. More recently, her research group wanted to find out how frequently people with COVID pass the virus to their pets. So they tested a group of cats living with COVID-positive owners and compared them to a group of stray cats who did not have a known COVID exposure. So we found a very big difference in the seroprevalence um, between the cats that lived in a household versus those that were admitted to an animal shelter. 67% of cats exposed to COVID-positive owners had antibodies to SARS-CoV-2 compared to only 3% of stray cats, showing that a large number of cats were likely infected by their owners. For dogs, 43% that lived with a COVID-positive owner had evidence of an infection. The study also identified risk factors putting cats at higher risk of becoming infected. And in cats, seropositivity was associated with sleeping on a bed with the owner. And our cats tend to like sleeping close to the, the owner's neck and face, and so they would be exposed to their breath potentially for a longer period of time and more frequently. There was also a trend um, of the duration of the contact to be associated with a higher seropositivity in cats. So cats that spend 19 to 24 hours per day with their owner were more likely to have a positive test result than cats that spent less time with their owner. Often these infections probably went unnoticed by their owners. Cats and dogs seem to become infected and they clear infection after generally a short time. There are some exceptions in our hands as well as reported by others that some cats can be infected for prolonged periods of time, but in generally they are um, infected for a short period of time. In her study, 27% of cats had symptoms, particularly a runny nose and difficulty breathing. Most cases were mild, but three were severe. 20% of dogs had symptoms, mainly a lack of energy and loss of appetite. Beansley says, Pet owners who become infected with COVID should protect their furry companions. They should stay away from them as much as possible during the, when, while they're ill for, so for at least two weeks. She also points out that although there have not been any well-documented instances of cats or dogs infecting people, until we know more... I would treat an infected cat or dog or any other animal just like a person with SARS-CoV-2 and I would stay away from them. Now, if you have a pet with COVID, people around them should wear masks and be sure to wear gloves and wash your hands when you're cleaning up after them. There is a vaccine for animals, but so far it is only being used to protect, to protect at-risk animals in zoos. Now, eventually there may be a vaccine available for house pets, but it isn't a priority since most pet infections tend to be mild. And since most pets get their infections from their owners, the best way to protect your pet is to protect yourself from getting infected. All right, definitely something to think about there. Thank you very much, Doc. Appreciate it.